Hey everyone! Have you ever thought about installing someone else's map on your Minecraft server and playing through it? Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we'll be covering in today's video. But before we dive in, if you enjoy my content and find my tutorials helpful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Your support really motivates me to keep creating these kinds of videos. I've set a goal to reach 1-800 subscribers this month, and with your help, I know we can get there. And one last thing before we jump into the tutorial. I'd really appreciate it if you watched the video all the way through. It really helps the channel grow and I can keep making awesome and informative videos for you. If you have any questions or run into any issues along the way, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I respond to everyone and will do my best to help you out. Now, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create the server for our custom map. For this, we'll be using Eternos Hosting. Head over to the Eternos website and you'll see the registration panel. The easiest way to sign up is by clicking Sign In with Google. Once you've registered, you'll see a Create Server button. Go ahead and click on that. You'll be given the option to create a server for either Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. Java is for PCs and Bedrock is for mobile devices. Choose Java Edition and give your server a name or just stick with the default name like I'm doing. Click Create Server, and that's it. You've completed the first step, and now we can move on to the next one. Now that our server is created, we need to install a server core. The core allows for more functionality, like installing plugins or mods on your server. I've covered plugins in a previous video, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. You can install the core in the Software section. Here, you'll find all the available cores for your server, each one labeled with its specific purpose. For plugins, the most popular cores are Paper Bucket and Spigot Bucket. For mods, you can use Forge or Fabric, and if you just want a vanilla Minecraft experience, go with the Vanilla Core. Since I'm installing a custom map today, the Vanilla Core will work just fine. Choose your core, then select the version of Minecraft you want to use. This choice is totally up to you and doesn't affect the process. After that, click Install, and you're done. Now let's move on to configuring the server. With the core installed, it's time to configure your server. There's really only one setting we need to change, the Cracked Mode. If you're using a non-licensed version of Minecraft, you'll need to enable this setting to allow players to join your server. If you have a licensed version, you can leave this setting alone. And that's pretty much it for the configuration. Now comes the final step, uploading your custom map to the server. By this point, I'm assuming you've already downloaded the map you want to use. Go to the Worlds section on Eternos, and in the main world slot, click Upload. Drag and drop your downloaded map into this section and save the changes. After that, you'll need to restart the server. Once it's restarted, head back to the server panel and click Start. If you see a queue, don't worry. It's normal because others are also using the hosting service. Once the server is up, open Minecraft, enter your server's IP, and join the game. That's all there is to it. I hope this guide helped you set up your server and install your custom map. If you run into any problems, remember to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's hit that 1-800 subscriber mark together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.